I'm about to teach y'all how to become a better fantasy football player, regardless of your level, whether you're a casual or a fucking legend right now in less than five minutes. I don't even think I'm that good of a fantasy football player, but I'm really good at talking about it because I'm really good at finding out where I need to go in order to be good at talking about it. I don't know if any of that made sense, but what will make sense are these six websites that I'm going to show you that are my favorite resources in the fantasy football world that will help you research, prepare, set your lineups, draft better, and not sound like a moron when you're talking about fantasy football. So I'm trying to fit this in under five minutes. So we got to tuck our shirts in quickly. This first website is called FF Today. It's got basically every stat you would want to find on a basic fantasy level, game by game, week by week, season by season, player by player. FFToday.com, all of these resources will be linked for you in the description. So you head to the main website, you head over to stats on the top, and then I would normally just move around here, but there's tons of resources on this website. So we can go to running backs, right? And we could see it's 2021. You could change the year if you wanted to. You could change the position, the week, the last five weeks of the season, and it's got all of your basic fantasy football points. So one thing to note is they have a scoring drop down, and I typically just go over to Yahoo or FF Today half point PPR. All of my leagues are half PPR, and I know Yahoo's normal league settings are half PPR, so it will filter to that. So you want to say, oh, okay, Ezekiel Elliott was the RB6 overall because it's filtered by fantasy points right here, right? But if you go to fantasy points per game, which is the next column, we see that Zeke is actually the running back 18 here. That is a useful stat when we're talking about preparing for the next year. All right. So FF Today is a great website for just capturing the very typical fantasy stats from a certain player over different seasons. And you can go to the player page. It has all of their game logs here and then actual individual game logs of the past three years. So you could see the consistency level. For instance, Zeke had some fucking absolute donut games as compared to the previous few years where 2019 life was good. Look at that. Look at those box stuffing porn star type numbers. Okay, so we love FF Today. The next website is a website for getting snap counts and snap percentages, which is super useful in today's world. And it's one of the only places that has it up for free. That would be lineups.com. So if you go to their normal website, lineups.com, what I would do if I were y'all is just make a bookmark folder on your browser and just put all of these websites into that bucket. So we're on lineups.com. We go to NFL. I'd go to NFL snap counts. But as you can see, they have a lot of other stats as well. But this is where I mainly use it from. So if you want to see the splits between, let's say, right, 21, 22, that's last year. Let's look at how the Philadelphia backfield played itself out, right? And we go to running backs. And then you can filter by numbers or percentages. So right here, you'll see that the team snap percentage overall, Miles Sanders led it with 45.6, but it's not a commanding number, right? Gainwell had 26, Jordan Howard had 23. So this is a really useful indicator. And you could see, you know, I like to also, okay, Miles Sanders, right? 17% snap share in week seven, probably got hurt then. You can see you missed the next few games, obviously got hurt then. So I take that into account when I'm analyzing a player, et cetera, right? I think it's really, really useful just to see the snap counts and they keep these updated throughout the season as well. Next up, really, really specific, but really fucking useful in season when setting your lineups is simply the roto grinders weather report now there's nothing here obviously because we're not in season but in season right say it's week four they have all of the games that have questionable suspect weather going on and they rate them either green yellow red orange or whatever what the wind situation is the snow situation and it is low-key one of the best resources because listen we're not fucking following the weather i don't have cincinnati pinned on my weather.com nobody does that shit I'm sure there's someone out there that actually has that for all NFL stadiums, which is insanity, but we're here to make your life a little bit less insane. So the rotogrinders.com forward slash weather forward slash NFL, this will be updated weekly as the games go on. And I could not pitch it as a better free resource for y'all to use. Next up, an up and comer that a lot of you guys that are in the dynasty world certainly know about. Probably the best free resource out there in terms of getting a gauge for what the market feels about players. And that is keep trade cut dot com keep trade cut dot com dynasty fantasy football rankings for you by you i was hesitant when they started because i didn't think that the community would really give off a good representation of like how dynasty leagues ran but i tell you what they've they've really switched me out here so they have dynasty rankings basically every time you come onto the website i already came onto the website today obviously i had it up for you guys but you have to 
answer a couple questions for them about keep trade cut like who if they they pop up three players they tell you to answer who you keep who you trade who you cut in like a dynasty league and it helps cipher the rankings for you really really accurately fan created dynasty rankings where they have a ton of data coming in all the time and it's a lot of sharp dynasty players so it makes a lot of sense and they have things like biggest risers biggest fallers obviously you see deshaun watson going off and it's cool because it's got a free trade calculator on here so if you're you know if you're playing a dynasty and someone offers you something i hate trade calculators like i really really do but it's a good baseline to understand understand what you need to be doing. Let's say CeeDee Lamb, T. Higgins, and uh, 2023 early second, right? And in return, you're getting back like Kirk Cousins and let's say Christian Kirk, right? Christian Kirk. Obviously, you're taking an L if you're making that side, but it also tells you like players to throw in to even out the trade. So it gives you a clear picture of like how Dynasty should work. So this is a great resource for any dynasty player, you're I, I, you're definitely not too fucking cool to use Keep Trade Cut. I don't care how what level of dynasty player you are; it's a great free resource. The next website up here is where I get my player news. Right when breaking news happens, this is usually where I get it from. Most of y'all have uh, have some sort of app on your phone where it's you know ESPN, Fantasy Life, or Sleeper that gives you notifications on the rip. And I am curious what. Uh, app or website or whatever do you use for your like on-demand news i'm on my desktop working all the time so i'm typically on this website like refreshing it to see what it comes in just roto world or nbc sports edge right if you go to nbc sports edge.com and you go to the nfl drop down then player news this is usually where i'll head over and it has recent news and transactions and beat reports and all of this kind of shit that pretty much happened in real time with analysis, with the sources. You can filter by team, you could filter by position, all that kind of shit. So I'm a fan of NBC Sports Edge for news. I know there are quicker ways to get it out there. Let me know your go-to down in the comment section. And just FYI, in our draft guide every year, which can be found on bdge.co, I do a huge like write-up article slash video breakdowns of all my top 20 resources. Like you're only getting five or six in this video, but I do the top 20 in my draft guide. So you can get that at bdg.co or if you sign up on prize picks, prizepicks.com app download in the link in the description and you deposit $10 while using the promo code BDGE on prize picks for the first time, you get access to our draft guide absolutely free on top of the 100% deposit match prize picks give you all these resources will be listed there below. The last free one that I will give to y'all is my baby pro football reference PFRs red zone numbers because a lot of y'all be out here like Miles Sanders is due for positive touchdown regression. And a lot of y'all be out here not looking at PFR's red zone fucking numbers, right? You simply have to filter by team. And we'll see that in Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts. So they have, they have categories, right? They have the inside the five yard line, inside the 10 yard line, and inside the red zone. If we look at the goal line carries, Jalen Hurts had 13 of them. Boston Scott had 10 of them. Jordan Howard had six of them. Miles Sanders was fourth in the team in goal line carries. How many fucking NFL running backs would you objectively say will be fourth on their team and inside the five yard line carries and expect them to see a big boost in touchdowns? Touchdown regression can come if there's a fucking reason for it. Touchdown regression doesn't just come because you think it should come. He had five carries inside the five yard line. Maybe this year he has five again. Maybe he has three this year. Maybe he has seven. Maybe he scores one of those five. Sick touchdown regression, guys. But it's very, very clear that he's not the goal line back there. That's the problem with all these stupid fucking analytics that take zero context into it. But this website, the PFR Red Zone, is really, really cool. They have receiving, they have rushing, they have passing as well. So that is one of my favorite free resources. And I will hit you with two overtime bonus resources that are paid resources, okay? And I'm not getting plugged to pitch these to you whatsoever. I just really, really like them. And I would say are worth spending your money on if you are an avid fantasy football player. The first is Matt Harmon's reception perception. Y'all have heard me use this over and over and over again. He simply sits down and charts the games of wide receivers in the NFL and looks at success versus man coverage, success versus zone, and success versus press coverage, as well as the different types of routes that a player runs, incoming rookies. So it's a great fucking source for dynasty players. And it's a reason why for instance, I'll, I'll give you an example of why I'm high on a guy like Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson last year still performed really, 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 really well. 81st percentile success rate versus man coverage, 96th versus press. So while the season was terrible in Chicago, and you might say he fell off, he really didn't. 
he is still really, really good. And now he gets to play with Matt Stafford. So had I looked at these numbers and, you know, he's always been one of the best performing wide receivers in reception perception. He's always been in the 90th percentile for all of these success rates, man and press, which is really the indicator of, of a, an elite wide receiver one alpha. Had those numbers fallen off to 60th percentile, 50th percentile, I'd say, okay, Allen Robinson might be over the age cliff. Maybe he's just not good anymore. This clearly states that's that's not the case. It was just a Chicago thing. It was a frustration. It was bad quarterback play. It was all that shit. I'm in on Allen Robinson very much this year because of things like that. I'm also in on Michael Pittman this year. The insane breakout he had. Look at his percentile success rate versus these different coverages. Michael Pittman's in for a monster year. So that is paid resource number one. I think it's $30 for the year. Well fucking worth it if you really care about projecting wide receivers, especially dynasty rookie and just normal fantasy football. The last paid resource is on Rotoviz. This is a little bit more expensive because they have like 98,000 tools. And I'm going to be honest with you, I never use any of the other tools. Like this is just fucking, I don't know who they hired for their UI UX, but to have this many drop downs is just, it's paralysis by analysis. It's it's a worse business decision than, than investing in Bitcoin four months ago. Like this, this is just not good, but their products are really good, right? If they had a little bit more visualization path, I would really, really appreciate that. But this is just a great resource for breaking up how a player performs in and out of different splits. So I'll give you an example, right? Let's look at Aaron Jones splits by player that also played Devonte Adams, right? This is a pretty big narrative over the last couple months. How much work does Aaron Jones get when Devonte Adams is on the field or is not on the field? So typically I'll put in statistical measures. I want to know all of these numbers, receptions, touchdowns, targets, yards, all that kind of stuff, half PPR points, when Devontae Adams is on the field, when he's not on the field. We put those numbers in and we simply scroll down to the bottom. And as you could see, in split are the games in which Devontae Adams played. Out of split, this is over the last three years, out of split are the seven games in which Devontae Adams has not played. You can see ridiculous, ridiculous splits here. So in the games where Devontae Adams didn't play, he's averaging 5.14 receptions versus 2.95. 0.57 touchdowns, 6.7 targets, 55.43 receiving. Yard. Like the, the game plan centers around Aaron Jones. And I'm sure you've seen tables like that before on Rotoviz that I have pitched out before. Again, that is a paid resource. It's a subscription. You can get a year. You can get two years for a discount, I think. But all of these will be linked down below. I know I'll be lying in the title, so I already have to wrap this video up. Wanted to get it out quickly for you, tell you all some of my favorite resources. And again, all of my favorite resources will be available in the draft guide, bdge.co or sign up on prize picks. It's cheaper this way. Deposit $10, use the promo code BDGE. You can use that 10 plus the 10 they give you and get the draft guide for free. I love you. I'm out. Subscribe to the channel if you want other terrible videos. Hey, hey.